they run Twitch because they are turning people into simps. And simping is them. Here's another 3,000 gifted. Ding, ding. Uh, uh. off all day. Most of them are teenagers. Most of them are underage. It doesn't even matter to them because Twitch is 13 plus. So they're okay if you're 13 years old edging to Pokemon all day. But if Dr. Disrespect texts a girl who's 17 years old, 11 months, 364 days, 59 minutes and 59 seconds, he's the worst person ever. Why? Someone tell me how that makes any sense. Now, Sneeko is 25 years old. He's older than me by 20 days. But unfortunately, the brain isn't 25 years old. He's suffering from a, something I like to call an internet sickness, a.k.a. donkey syndrome. <gasps> Now, it's not something to laugh at. It's actually a very serious sickness. A lot of people, especially on Twitter, suffer from this. This donkey syndrome is... They cannot tell the difference between right and wrong because in their head, they are still 8 years old. You tell Stinko texting a minor is bad, Stinko. It's not good. It's illegal. He's going to tell you, well, why? She'll be 18. She'll be illegal in 2 years or 6 months. Why is there a law like this? Why not do it now? This is stupid. Well, she sells her body for $5 on OnlyFans. She should be ashamed of herself. It's like what the fuck it has nothing to do with anything but there's no point of arguing with these type of people they're like woman bad man good woman all evil you tell them Sneeko not everyone is the same everyone has a different perspective they're like no ev woman evil man good there's no point to this, but fortunately, there's a cure to this donkey syndrome. It is a slap to the face. Now, the chances of this cure is 50-50. If you want, if you come across someone with a donkey syndrome, you just spit in your hand one big juicy khirti spit, you slap them in the face. They'll either be cured or the other 50 chances, they're going to come after you with everything they got. Just like Sneeko went after Baba Charlie, waved up the weapon and threatened Jesus last year. And as we all know, Jesus had his own way of threatening back. Now, as I'm going to be shit-talking Sneeko from his latest take about Dr. Disrespect situation, I'm going to take some precautions. Now, they don't really sell guns in Dubai, so, but I, I think this will do the job. Now, I believe anyone who ever touched the internet knows about the Dr. Disrespect situation after he snitched on himself. Even the Facebook moms who have... They don't even know who Dr. Disrespect is. They're, they just sat down and drink tea and they send it to each other in their WhatsApp groups. A lot of people share their thoughts about the situation and obviously anyone with a fully developed brain, they're going to be against this and not support this. There's still some brain rot people who are supporting Dr. Disrespect's action, which is truly surprising to me, but at the same time, uh, what, what was I expecting? It's the internet. When the news came out, Sneeko took it to the internet saying, Western culture is hilarious. If someone takes a girl 17 years old, 11 months, he gets jumped by the whole industry. But if the same girl waits one more month to sell her body to OnlyFans, she's celebrated by the same industry for being an independent queen clown world who is he referring to he's referring to valkyrie who is a very popular i believe valorant streamer who started on an only a couple of years ago and she got praise for it and obviously she got backlash for it but sneeko is not going to obviously tell you this same goes with pokemon who says yuck to the situation sneeko is comparing pokemon situation to doctor who suspects on it's the same thing the whole industry is a joke because pokemon also brings a lot of people who are underage who watch her stream and with her behavior that she sits and she thanks people for the subscriptions all of them are like oh yeah pokey oh yeah thank me for my five gifted again brother it's not her fault that her audience are too horny and she doesn't get any backlash for it but when doc takes a girl who's 17 years old 11 months and uh, i don't know 29 days the whole internet takes a big fat juicy shit on him now, i'm not going to say anything about this donkey yet let's just go watch the whole video then i'm going to share my thoughts about it dr disgusting says valky ray yuck says pokimane everyone hates you but as soon as that second hits midnight then she can sign up on OnlyFans, sell her body and then everyone's gonna parade around and say, you go queen, you're an independent girl boss, slay, clown world. I don't know everything about Dr. Disrespect, but what is the, like, let's break it down. Pokimane pretty much does softcore porn for 14 year old boys. Her audience is 95% men who are jerking off the entire stream. Oh, pokey, pokey, I wanna poke you, pokey. Twitch. I might get banned on Twitch by saying this, but it is what it is, bro. They run Twitch because they are turning people into simps. 
And simping is them. Here's another 3,000 gifted. Ding, ding. Uh, uh. Jerking off all day. Most of them are teenagers. Most of them are underage. It doesn't even matter to them. Because Switch is 13 plus. So they're okay if you're 13 years old edging to Pokemon all day. But if Dr. Disrespect text a girl who's 17 years old, 11 months, 364 days, 59 minutes and 59 seconds, he's the worst person ever. Why? Someone tell me how that makes any sense. And as soon as I text she's a prostitute everybody cheers uh, before i share my thoughts about this megatron has some few words to say wise words by megatron over there now let's break it down one by one about what he said and how stupid he looks by saying it first up he starts by saying the same girl who was you know in the doctor to suspect situation the second she hits hits 18 she's going to start at only fans and she's not going to get any shit for it now mr sneaky i just want to say that no one is blaming the girl in this situation and calling the girl disgusting everyone's shitting on doctor to suspect because of his behavior because he's a 42 year old man with a child and a wife who is sexting a minor in short you want to shame someone for starting an only fans calling them disgusting fine it's nothing illegal that she's doing what doc did is completely illegal and just you can't tell me that you can compare the two and put them together it's like saying when you were a kid and you went to your mom's wallet and took like two dollars just to go buy some ice cream without her knowing is as bad as someone who has a full-on ar-15 65 who goes into a bank and does a whole arm robbery and just puts everyone's lives in danger you're comparing these two things together and saying these are all equally bad it's a clown world out there and the second point, he says that Twitch is 13 plus and p people who go up there, they're, most of them are minors and they wait, watch Pokemon, lick a lollipop, sit in front of the camera and a little bit of her boobies show in the camera. Mr. Sneeko, Mr. Donkey, the difference again is Dr. Disrespect continued having an appropriate conversation with them. Now, did Pokemon go in someone's DM and say, hello, little boy, I want to tickle you? No. I don't even know why I'm explaining this to you, to be honest. Just watching this video, you first thing you were like, okay, this guy's an idiot. Why am I watching this video? The difference is day and night. And if he's coming out and saying that what Dr. Disrespect is is not as bad, everyone's just exaggerating, that girl is at fault because the second she turns 18, she's going to do OnlyFans and no one's going to say anything about her. She's disgusting. Dr. Disrespect isn't that bad. God knows if he actually does it with an underage girl or not, since he's hanging out with Zerka and Heal Mike a lot. I'm just saying. And keep in mind, he's the same person that protected the show on Netflix called Cuties. If you're not aware of it, a couple of years ago, Netflix released this, which in the show showed sexually suggested scenes involving child actors. He's like, I don't see a problem with this. Why is everyone hating on them? It's just children just throwing it back, just twerking. What's the problem? I truly believe something really traumatic happened to him after he allowed his girlfriend to shakalaka boom boom other guys in front of him. That's why he's so hateful towards women. He's like, oh, women are evil species. You don't want to mess with that. This is really dangerous. Just shh, shh, shh. Who think the safety was on? I need to be literally in front of you. It was literally like this far oh, away from me. Can you? What? what? He, he, right, we're on the same bed. I was with his girl. He was with my girl. You like, was right here. on the bed? Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with you? You sat on the bed while she got fucked? I I was there too. I mean, Dude, we were, so you just sat there Indian style with your feet crossed. Just, it was missionary. Yeah, said, missionary no. legs up. It like was missionary legs, legs up. up. Legs up. Yeah. Oh no. That's, that's such he, a oh, was he staring at her like in her eyes? Yeah, like deep eye contact. Oh no. Deep eye contact. Yeah. Deep. Yeah. Side and, blue and she deep? grabbed it. She's like, I want you to fuck me. I was like, whoa. What? I believe anyone who allows this to happen is going to be traumatized for the rest of their lives as well. Now, ever since he's converted to Islam, he is the best of the best out there. I'm not going to really judge him on that. If you didn't know, I'm a Muslim as well, but I'm not a very like good one. But I was born a Muslim. I'm still a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. I pray when I can. But Sneeko goes on a full rant of saying how Islam changed his life, how it led them to the straight path. But... He's those type of hypocritical Muslims, I would say. Sneeko is the type of person where I have a perfect example for this. I always say this. He's the type of person when Ramadan comes up, he's fasting. Hello, brother. Hello, sister. Until 7 p.m., until the Avan, until Iftar, we're going to be brothers and sisters. And I'm going to pray. I'm going to do everything halal. After 7 o'clock, 
Where the bitches at? Bring the booze. Bring the bitches. Let's turn this shit up. And I believe people like Sneeko and Andrew Tate, for example, these influencers jumping into Islam and just saying how it is the best thing that ever happened to them. They're just doing it for clout. They're just doing it for attention. They're just doing it for... It's like a trend for them. Now, moving on from Sneeko, I have an update about the Dr. Deuce's Beck situation where another Twitch, a former Twitch employee came forward and just started saying more shit about this this is literally a chaos one person opened the gate and everyone's just exposing every secret but the next month there's going to be secrets coming left and right from the twitch platform <laughs> he says the doctor to suspect situation i don't think most people have an idea of how bad things were behind the scenes at twitch i literally worked in the department and that had access to the most data and information i saw private whispers and etc it was literally my job to investigate daily i saw things every single day that i wish i've never seen he says that it was literally his job to look at the whispers make sure no one's doing anything illegal and he claims that he have seen what dr disrespect texted so he is the one who truly knows what exactly happened he also said the reason he hasn't talked about it all these years is he signed an nda and he's afraid that he would get in trouble if he did but i have to say something it's been bothering me so long these six f's don't deserve to be free I guess things got real right there. If I said I was surprised, I'll be lying. Without a doubt, there are more people who have, haven't been caught yet who have done these things or still doing these things, especially with the streamers. I don't know if there's a click to you once you become popular streamer. Like, it's not hard to control yourself. Yes, with a lot of fame, there's going to be a lot of people who would like you and maybe some of them would like you more than a content creator. They want you to do things to them inappropriately and some in that case will be minors and i guess most men think with their head and not their actual head and it just leads to things without them thinking with their actual head and they think with the other head like <laughs> but surprisingly i didn't expect this but there's a lot of people who are coming out and s defending dr disrespect in this situation and just laughing at this whole situation as if it's a joke like it, it doesn't matter guys get over it she was only 17 like it's fine like this person who said all this doctor disrespect drama over a 17 year old laughing emojis now sure you don't care about the situation you don't want to take it seriously it doesn't really affect your life sure but it truly surprises me what kind of sick people are out there who are saying like guys get over it now in this situation if for example doctor disrespect was an 18 year old content creator and the girl turned out to be 16, I believe that's fine. That's understandable. But if a motherfucker is 42 years old, that is definitely not okay. Anything above the age of 18, 19, it is not fine. And surprisingly, a lot of people, like they do this. I've met a lot of people who said their boyfriends back in the day when they were, when they were 15, the boyfriends were like 24, 22, 23. I'm like, how the fuck were you okay with it? They're like, hmm. I don't know. I guess back then it was fine. It's a sick world out there. And I won't be surprised if more people come out to be t t child ticklers out there. It's honestly fucked up. And the people who think this way that this whole thing is just people are exaggerating because she was only 17. First of all, we don't know how old she was. Well, all we know is she was a minor. Doesn't matter. A minor is a minor. And also, I forgot to mention, back to the Sneeko situation. Sneeko comes to Dubai a lot. I've been living in Dubai for the past 23, 24 years. And I've been in the industry for quite some time now. I started my whole thing on social media in 2020. I have around like 4.8 million followers on TikTok. And with that amount of following, you obviously meet a lot of uh, content creators, influencers. You collab with them. And you hear things from them, them as well. Sneeko visited Dubai a lot and I have people who hung out with him and they said he's an actually a very nice guy. Now, it really questions me if does he do all of these things for an act? Does he talk about things that people like majority of people disagree with but he agrees with it to get some clicks to get some views from it i don't know i believe if you actually if i actually sit with him i would know what kind of a person he is but i guess he's playing it smart which i think it's definitely not worth it anyways just wanted to make this video to call sneeko uh, you're a donkey bro and yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below take care of yourself i will see you at the next one